Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and in the weeks since I've done the Glow transition tutorial, I was asked a couple of times if it was possible to achieve the same result without Boris effect. And while not being exactly the same thing, I do know of a way to achieve a similar effect. I won't call it a glow because it isn't, but rather a film flash. And this is what it looks like. So you can see it's 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 similar to a glow, but it's but it's definitely not the same. So let's do it. And the first thing we'll do is very simple. We'll create a quick transition that is 12 frames long, centered. That is exactly right. So what we have now is a very simple transition. Uh, now I'll make the whole transition 20 frames long. But of course, you can alter that any way you like. So I'll add an edit on video track 2, 10 frames before the cut and 10 frames after the cut. Now the first thing we'll do is blur the image within the transition. So go to Tools, Effect Palette, Image, and drag the blur effect onto the empty video track. There it is. I can go into Effect Editor, zoom out of the image, and draw a rectangular shape across the whole image. Now there it's blurring the whole image. We don't want that. We want to start with a blur amount of zero and we'll end with a blur amount of zero as well. And we'll add a keyframe at the center of the transition, so at 10 frames in this case. And create some blur, say 15. That is a decent amount of blur. So what's happening now is we blur into the transition and we're blurring out of the transition. Why do we do the blurring? Well, the next step we'll do is uh, burning out the image, basically over cranking the exposure a lot. And with a blur, we'll create, you know, larger, more soft shapes with uh, the overexposing. And that just looks nicer than the hard edges that we'd get if we didn't blur. So how do we overexpose? Very, very simply, we'll just add a color effect on top of the blur. So again, go to Tools, Effect Palette, Image, and Alt or Option drag the color effect onto the blur. Again, go to Effect Editor, Go to the center of the transition and add a keyframe. And what we'll use now is the Luma range. There we go, there's the Luma range and just drag the white point way, way down. Maybe something like this. They can see it's blown out very much. Now we have to render this. And we're basically done. But I personally think it looks nicer if the color effect animation is not straight, but rather done with a Bezier curve. So let's do that. Get back into Effect Editor and promote the color effect to advanced keyframes. Now let's get to our white point slider. And there we have our keyframes and as you can see now there's a straight line. And we could just use the spline. And that gives us a much softer animation. You can also use uh, Bezier and change the animation curve to your liking. But I think in this case, 
spline is totally sufficient. Get out of effect editor. So let's look at that again. I think that looks quite decent. And of course, what you can do is save those effects to a bin by just dragging this little icon from the effect editor to a bin. You know, name them. Do the same thing with the blur. And now you can simply reuse them whenever you like. And this is a very simple, quickly rendering effect. And I think it looks very, very decent. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. If you like, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com, where you can also watch past episodes. You can also subscribe on iTunes, of course. Just search for Avid Screencast. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash avidscreencast, and on Facebook, facebook.com slash avidscreencast. And uh, give me feedback on Facebook, Twitter, or uh, mail at avidscreencast.com. And if you'd like to know what kinds of things I do in my day job, check out editguy.de. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope uh, Germany won their third game last night. If it didn't, I'm not sure if I'll ever do a screencast again. <laughs> um, uh, see you next week, in case Germany won. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a great week. <laughs>